reports from Medstone Crime Court. The judge in the Kent smuggling case said it had come within a whisker of a tragedy. 18 migrants, plus the two smugglers, were crammed into a rib meant for half that number. On a rescue helicopter video, one migrant can be seen desperately trying to bail out water from the boat. The migrants had each paid around £5,000 to make the trip. The two smugglers, Robert Stilwell and Mark Scribbling, earned £2,000 each for doing it. David Fairclough from the Home Office Immigration Enforcement Unit said this was a particularly cruel case of people smuggling. In this instance, they were treated as cargo. They were not provided with life jackets. They were brought across the channel, busiest chipping lanes in the world, at night, in poor conditions. In a separate but almost identical case at Lewis Crown Court today, another man was also jailed for four years for smuggling in 17 Albanians into Chichester Harbour. Stephen Jackson had also pleaded guilty. He's wanted in Spain for an unrelated murder investigation. Both the Kent and Sussex smuggling cases that have confirmed fears by some MPs and police crime commissioners that Britain's coastline is vulnerable to people smuggling. But the government has said that it's already looking to increase the number of maritime patrols around the United Kingdom. Three former bank executives have been jailed in Ireland for their role in covering up huge losses in the defunct Anglo-Irish Bank. The court in Dublin heard how the men conspired to defraud investors. This is the highest profile.